Hey there, it's Lyle Convoy again. Today we're going to be discussing a very specific character in Thundercats that is often overlooked or maligned, despite the fact that he's a very important character. That character, of course, is Snarf. Now, I know some people say opinions can't be wrong, but that's incorrect. If I said my opinion is that I'm stabbing a cocaine-addled gorilla at this very instance, I'd be wrong. Not only because I'd never mess with a gorilla, but also because that goes double if the animal is on cocaine. As such, I believe the general consensus on Snarf is incorrect, opinions and all. So in this video, I'm going to systematically debunk those claims, as well as show you why Snarf is not only underappreciated, but one of the most important characters the series has. Let's start with the complaints I've heard. Firstly, I'm not going to be showing screen caps here, because this isn't a video where I'm calling out individuals. Anyone that's talked about Thundercats knows the complaints towards him, from the diehard fans to the people who just have a passing memory of it. So we'll begin with the first one on the list. Snarf is annoying. This one's the hardest to tackle as it's completely subjective, but I'm going to try to do it anyways. The majority of this argument comes from the fact that Snarf can be considered something of a nag, always worrying about Lionel's safety or the general status of the team. To be completely honest, there were even people on the staff that didn't like him as a character. However, take a look at Snarf from the eyes of an adult. It'll tell you a different story. Look what I have for you, Snarf, Snarf. Oh, what's this, Snarf? A toy? Good grief, I'm too big for toys. Can't you see that? Yeah, I guess you'll just always look little to faithful old Snarf. If you're a parent, specifically one with teenage children, Snarf's concerns are far more practical. As children, we didn't notice, because Snarf is a worrisome person, just like our parents were. Snarf isn't there for you to identify with as a kid. He's there for your parents to identify with. I'll expand on that later, but for now I'll move on to the next point. Snarf is a coward. Well, Snarf is on an alien world surrounded by strange animals and literal devil priests. Of course he's going to be afraid. But that doesn't mean he doesn't act. It's easier to be courageous when you have... The cunning of Wily Kit and Wily Cat? The intelligence and strange powers of Tigra? The speed and the courage of Chichara? The technology or the skills of Panthro. The strength and youth of Lion-O. But ultimately, Snarf always acts to protect the people he cares about, even though he lacks literally any metahuman ability aside from talking to other animals. Like when he attacked the mutants in the first episode, or roasted a challenge all by his lonesome and Snarf takes up the challenge. Or even in Psych Out, where he used the fact that Aluro didn't think he was a threat to his advantage. That takes courage. And those don't even count the instances where Snarf jumped into the fray during a team battle. And most importantly, he had to stand before the Guardian of the Book of Omens to save everyone. This is a being that there is no defense against. An entity that even the immortal Mumra is afraid of. But Snarf? He rises to the challenge and even shows defiance in the face of this powerful force. Announce yourself. Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm Snarf, loyal servant and friend of lion -O, Lord of the Thundercats. Do you have the key? I've got the key, the bracelet of power, the jade dragon, and sorry it's broken. The chain of loyalty, the mirror of truth, and all the rest of the stuff. And if that's not enough for you to tell us how to defeat Momra, then I don't know what is. Snarf isn't just brave. Snarf is one workout routine short of his own 80s action movie. Snarf is dumb. Intelligence is relative. If you have someone that can reverse engineer a turbine engine, but can't build a house, that doesn't make that person dumb. But even with that in mind, Snarf is far from dumb. Snarf is smart enough to guide Lionel in the use of the Sword of Omens when he's stressed and forgets something. How can I help you, Panthro? I can't tell the real you from the fake. The sword, Lionel! Use the sword! Not against a Thundercat, Snarf. Our code 
expressly forbids it. Exactly! The sword will only harm the fake Thundercat! Do it, Lionel, or they'll burn! Look! He's smart enough to recognize different ships just by glancing. There it is. Look at that old space wreck. Have you ever seen one like it? Why, schnarf! That's an old X4 neutron drive. Wait a minute. Look at that transom. See how it's shaped like an ancient galleon? That's the Jolly Rogers. The what? The famous pirate ship. Years ago, it plundered the planets. And he's absolutely smart enough to give Lionel the exact help he needs when he needs it. So yeah, Snarf is pretty smart, regardless of what anyone may think. However, I'd like to delve deeper into this character here and talk about his importance in the series. Snarf's job was initially that of a nursemaid. You can see it defined here, but I think they use this word mostly to avoid using the word babysitter. The implication of this is that Snarf has been with lion since he was a literal infant, caring for him and keeping his well-being in mind at all times. Although Jaga is an important source of wisdom and guidance for lion Snarf serves a different purpose that you may not have caught. He's lion surrogate parent. Who worries about lion health? Snarf. Who worries about his safety? Snarf. This is further enforced by the fact that Snarf has almost a sixth sense about lion concerning his safety. There's no need. Don't bother, Snarf. <laughs> no good for anything anymore. That's what they think. Ooh, hey. Something. I got like a, a feeling. A bad feeling. Lion-O. I have to get where he is and, and nobody can stop me. You know why Snarf seems so out of place for so long? Here's why. Remember, Lord Lionel spent 10 Galacto years in a suspension capsule. During that time, he grew in size, but he did not grow up. He missed those first-hand life experiences through which one matures. There's subtext there in relation to Snarf. That's 10 Galacto years that would have seen Snarf and Lionel's relationship mature into Lionel's adulthood, with Snarf taking a different role in his life like a parent would. Instead, he went from Lionel's caretaker, with Lionel being an infant, to someone Lionel didn't need at all times in an instant. That's why Snarf seems so out of place. And it's even touched on in the series. You mean you'd leave the Thundercat? Lionel's grown up now. He doesn't need a nursemaid like me. Sometimes I feel as if I'm just in the way. I'd imagine a lot of military vets can identify with that after their kids are grown, as well as many other people. But Snarf even matters beyond that. By the second season, he became Lionel's closest friend, adapting to Lionel's age the way any good parent would. Even the Thundercat that conflicted with him most, Panthro, even took up for him and valued him as a member of the team. Well, of all the... What is it? Snarf was supposed to recharge the Thundridium module. He must have forgotten. He's getting a bit absent-minded. Well, he's not getting any younger. Snarf getting old. I never thought of that. Even in Snarf's darkest time when he doubted his own value to the team and planned on leaving for good, Panthro was hoping he just misunderstood him. What's the matter, Snarf? I might as well tell you all. Tell us what, Snarf? I'm... Uh, I'm not coming back. You're not coming back? I'm going to stay with Snarfer on the planet of Snarfs. You mean you're going to visit, to see your friends? No, Panthro. I'm going to stay there forever. It's not just the team itself that values him, though. The Sword of Omens does, too. When Snarf was caught under a large block of stone for the new cat's lair on New Thundera, it let Lion-O know he was in danger in a manner it never had before. Danger! You're telling me! Sword of Omens! Then it gave Snarf the strength to survive, followed by giving lion -O flight fast enough to overtake even the Thunderstrike to get to him. And finally, it gave lion the strength to single-handedly lift the stone and free Snarf. <laughs> the 
the Thundercat's most sacred weapon, Value Snarf. Later on in the series, we see that Snarf finally adjusts completely, utilizing his skills in the most beneficial way he can, as a caretaker for the Lair and the new Thundarian refugees that come in. This is shown best in the Thundercats episode Leah, where Snarf cares for a Thundarian girl, believing her story about her possessed doll and helping her fight it. What's the problem, Furball? <sighs> scared. I'll get you scared, you, you mirror a creep. and ending with him assuring her that none of it was her fault. Because Snarf doesn't blame the victims of deception and malice, having been on the receiving end of it before. The doll and all that trouble with Mumra, in a way, it was my fault. Your fault? <laughs> Impossible! You were tricked! And, and believe me, that's not the first time old Mumra's tricked the Thundercats! Besides, Leah, if it hadn't been for you, we'd still be stuck in that wretched fog. And we'd never found your parents. The important thing to remember is that whenever something bad happens, talk it over with someone who cares. It just doesn't pay to keep it a secret. Snarf is a character with a large amount of empathy. Snarf is valued by his team. He's valued by their sacred weapon. He's valued by the Lord of the Thundercats. And you know what? He's earned every ounce of the respect they all give him. His actions, courage, intelligence, and empathy are a testament to his character. In fact, one of my issues with the 2011 series is that Snarf was reduced to being Lionel's pet, removing all the agency his character had. And they'll be repeating that mistake in the new series. Snarf was important. Snarf is important. And on top of all of that, he exemplifies the tenacity we should all have in life. As he always says, You never, never know, know what, what you, you can, can do until you try. Of course, it never hurts to have friends. You're absolutely right. Yes. What in thunder would you do without me? A special thanks as always to my patron Avis. She makes it easier to put more content out regularly. I'm still pushing that contest by the way. 1,000 subscriber gets a free set of the Loyal Subjects Thundercats comments. And like last week, I'll be streaming this Friday on YouTube. I have a better idea of what I'm doing right now, so it'll be a lot easier. I'm still trying to raise funds to go to Don Blues University. Any little bit you'd be willing to shoot my way would be greatly appreciated. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Actually, it's Snarf you should be thanking. He saved the day. Oh, well... No, it's true. We couldn't have done it without you. See? Old Snarf just gets better with age. <laughs> <laughs>